Hello and welcome back to yet another Animal of the Week. In today's episode, we'll take a look at the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons are well known due to them being the largest lizards in the world. They resemble the early and ridiculous reconstructions of dinosaurs in Crystal Palace Park. Komodo dragons live in an incredibly small range of only six tiny islands in Indonesia. The islands of Padar, Rinka, Gili Dasami, Gili Montang, Komodo of course, and small coastal areas of the larger island of Fors. All of these islands fall in the Komodo National Park, except from Fors, and that is probably why Komodo numbers have fallen dramatically in Fors. The actual habitat they live in is made up of savanna, tropical forests and beaches, and Komodo dragons live all over it, from the high plateaus to the coast. Komodo dragons have superb smell and taste with their tongues, and use it effectively to find prey. Once the prey is found, they are ruthless. Their size means they can prey on most animals on their islands, and will sometimes prey on animals much larger than themselves, such as water buffalo and wild boar. They use their shark-like teeth to easily bite through flesh, and contrary to common belief, they do actually possess venom, not harmful bacteria in the saliva that is commonly thought. Many people still think that a Komodo dragon has bacteria in its mouth that poisons its prey, but it was actually found they do have venom glands. It's not as potent as other venoms, and may not kill you, but it still does cause hypothermia and stops blood clotting, so combined with being attacked by a Komodo dragon, it can prove fatal. Komodo dragons also like to feed on carrion, and this means they even sometimes feed on recently buried humans. This has resulted in inhabitants of the islands to bury their dead with mounds of rocks to stop Komodo dragons getting to the bodies. Komodo dragons are solitary animals, and only meet to mate. This occurs from May to August, and then the females lay eggs in September. Female Komodo dragons can reproduce asexually, which is amazing, but unlike asexual reproduction in plants, the offspring produced are not clones of the mother. The mother's half of the chromosomes will double itself to produce a new genome that is derived from the mother, but not a copy of the mother's genetic code. Once a Komodo dragon is born, it will spend most of its early life up in trees to avoid predators, until it gets big enough to come down. If a Komodo dragon reaches adulthood, little can threaten it, and so they can live for around 30 years. I have already mentioned many different amazing bits of behaviour and adaptations Komodo dragons possess. Their venomous glands, the ability to reproduce asexually, and their sense of smell. But there are a few more amazing things these animals can do. Komodo dragons are excellent swimmers, and will travel between the few islands they inhabit in search of food. Komodo dragons have been spotted miles offshore. They swim by moving their tails side to side like a mosasaur. Komodo dragons are related to mosasaurs, they are both varanids, along with Megalania, which is an extinct giant monitor lizard. Komodo dragons also possess sensory plaques in their skin to help with touch. The skin itself is extremely strong with bone reinforcements called osteoderms that form a chainmail-like skin that's extremely hard to bite through. Other than humans, no other animal pose a threat to Komodo dragons, except from other Komodo dragons. Human interference in the form of habitat destruction and hunting has decimated Komodo dragon populations. The IUCN classes them as vulnerable because of the recent decline in numbers, but the successful establishment of Komodo National Park has given them a fighting chance. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.